Hi, my name is Matthew Ramsden, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you my animation, which I've decided to call Almost the Attack on Aberystwyth. I will be talking through some technical aspects I've used in my animation and showing some very quick demos on how I used these in a basic way. The story of my animation starts off as a camera watching a seagull. The seagull then flies off a rock and it sees that you are in Aberystwyth Castle, with the Aberystwyth sign saying, Welcome to Aberystwyth. The seagull then flies through the archway under the castle and, fly, and sees the monument, flies past the monument and flies up into the sky. And then in the sky, it sees a pirate ship. It then flies up to the pirate ship and sees that there is a dispute going between the crew and the captain. The captain wants to attack the town of Aberystwyth, while the crew do not want to attack such a quaint town. The crew decide to attack the captain in a mutiny and end up killing him. One of the crew members then steps up as captain, throws up to the wheel, turns the ship around and allows it to fly off into the moonlight. The next video will be my animation. I hope you enjoy watching it. Welcome back, I hope you enjoyed watching my animation. This next part will be a very short demo on how I used mesh editing, texture painting and node editing in my animation. Hope you enjoy watching it. I'm first going to start by changing from perspective view to orthographic view. This will allow me to see the grid panes when I go into front or side view. I'm going to subdivide, I'm going to first go into edit mode, sorry, and then subdivide my cube. Very simple start. I'm going to press A and Z so I can see through the cube, use circle select using C and extrude this out three along. I'm then going to um, press A to deselect everything and select the top two and extrude it up four and extrude it up another two. I'm then going to set the side ones and extrude them out three again so they're the same length of the other one at the bottom. Once again, I'm going to select the top ones, extrude it out four again and extrude it up two once more select the top two again and extrude it out three along the x-axis once more. This is a very simple E in my Blender file. It will be, this is the model that I have made to show you mesh editing. I will now show you a very simple node usage and I will then show texture painting. I first have to click use nodes and go into the node editor in this other window. At the moment, we only have a diffuse and a material output. I'm going to add in a mix shader, put the diffuse on that and go into material view on this port. I'm also going to add on a glass shader because that one I believe shows the most difference between the two. I will also change the color to light blue. No, sorry, to dark blue. As you can see now, the closer I change it to one, the closer it comes to white, which at this point means it's more coming more glassy. I will put it in rendered view so you can see it more. This is completely glass. If I change it back to zero, it becomes completely blue. I hope you enjoyed watching that. Um, I used these techniques mostly on the pirate ship in the top, but I did use the material out, uh, material and node editing on everything in the scene. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video and animation, and I hope you have a good day.